In this video, I am going to discuss the past strategy for the subject System Software CST305. So in System Software, you can see these are the very important topics from each module. This, you should study these topics. So from second module, you can see that it is two pass assembler, pass one and pass two algorithms and data structures. So the data structures in tab of tab location counter for pass one and pass two and the algorithms. These are most of the question papers. These questions are asked. Then from first module, it is SIC XC and architecture and addressing modes. Then fourth module, two pass linking loader. Just like the assembler, the algorithm and data structures for the two pass linking loader, pass one and pass two. Then from fifth module, it is one pass macro processor. It is the algorithm and data structures for the one pass macro processor. So these are sure questions. These questions you should study. So now we can see the module by module questions, important questions. So from module one, it is SICXC architecture in detail. So architecture in detail, architecture means memory, registers, data, instruction format, addressing modes, etc. That you have to learn. And another question is different types of system software. For example, compiler, interpreter, linker, loader, etc. Then part A question, you can expect the three addressing modes in SICXC or list system softwares. Now coming to module 2, it is assemblers. In that the very important question is this pass 1 or pass 2 algorithm of a 2 pass assembler. So both pass 1 and pass 2 you have to study. Then another question is the a simple SIC XC. It's a backup question. Like an OR question you can study this. A simple SIC or SIC XC program. You will be asked only simple programs like this beta equal to alpha plus i and c r minus 1 swapping two variables etc. Then coming to module 2, part A question, explain literal, explain forward reference, then describe assembler directives. These are expected part A questions. Then coming to module 3, module 3 is a large module. So from that, the main focus is this question that explain program blocks and control sections with examples. So you have to program uh, learn program blocks are for rearranging code within a single assembly unit while control sections are for linking independently assembled units. Then another question is the program relocation and how it is handled. Then part A questions from this module is explain EQU statement and the need for multipass assembler. Then we can come to module 4, loaders and linkers. In that, the important question is write and explain the algorithm for pass 1 or pass 2 of a 2-pass linking loader. So in this module, uh, loaders, two-pass linking loader is the most important one in that pass one algorithm is there and pass two algorithm is also there. Then second question is differentiate between linking loader and linkage editor. That you will be having a table format and you can compare both linking loader and linkage editor. Then explain absolute or bootstrap loaders. Then for part A, you can expect describe the design of an absolute loader and also explain automatic library search. Now we can come to module 5. In module 5 mainly you will be having macro processor and editors and debuggers. So in macro processor the main uh, most important question is explain the one pass macro processor algorithm and its data structures. Then second question is outline the structure of a text editor or a debugger with a neat diagram. From module 5 the part A questions are illustrate unique label generations in macros then describe user interfaces in a text editor distinction distinguish between character and block device drivers. So these are the important questions, module-wise important questions. Thank you.